Aladdin Creations. Father. Why? Do you know about malaria? Tomorrow, school lesson about malaria. Malaria is a serious and sometimes fatal disease caused by a parasite that commonly infects a certain type of mosquito which feeds on humans. Four kinds of malaria parasites infect humans. Plasmodium falciparum, Plasmodium vivax, Plasmodium ovale, and Plasmodium lariae. In addition, Plasmodium nolesi, a type of malaria that naturally infects macaques in Southeast Asia. Globally, the World Health Organization estimates that in 2016, 216 million clinical cases of malaria occurred, and 445,000 people died of malaria. How is malaria transmitted? Usually, people get malaria by being bitten by an infected female Anopheles mosquito. Only Anopheles mosquitoes can transmit malaria, and they must have been infected through a previous blood meal taken from an infected person. When a mosquito bites an infected person, a small amount of blood is taken in which contains microscopic malaria parasites. About one week later, when the mosquito takes its next blood meal, these parasites mix with the mosquito's saliva and are injected into the person being bitten. Because the malaria parasite is found in red blood cells of an infected person, malaria can also be transmitted through blood transfusion, organ transplant, or the shared use of needles or syringes contaminated with blood. Malaria may also be transmitted from a mother to her unborn infant before or during delivery. Is malaria a contagious disease? No. Malaria is not spread from person to person like a cold or the flu, and it cannot be sexually transmitted. You cannot get malaria from casual contact with malaria-infected people, such as sitting next to someone who has malaria. Great. Who is at risk for malaria? Anyone can get malaria. Most cases occur in people who live in countries with malaria transmission. People from countries with no malaria can become infected when they travel to countries with malaria or through a blood transfusion. Who is most at risk of getting very sick and dying from malaria? Plasmodium falciparum is the type of malaria that most often causes severe and life-threatening malaria. This parasite is very common in many countries in Africa south Kama of the Sahara Desert. People who are heavily exposed to the bites of mosquitoes infected with Plasmodium falciparum are most at risk of dying from malaria. Also people who have little or no immunity to malaria, such as young children and pregnant women, or travelers coming from areas with no malaria, are more likely to become very sick and die. Poor people living in rural areas, who lack access to health care are at greater risk for this disease. What are the signs and symptoms of malaria? Symptoms of malaria include fever and flu-like illness, including shaking chills, headache, muscle aches, and tiredness, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea may also occur. Malaria may cause anemia and jaundice because of the loss of red blood cells. If not promptly treated, the infection can become severe and may cause kidney failure, seizures, mental confusion, coma, and death. How soon will a person feel sick after being bitten by an infected mosquito? For most people, symptoms begin 10 days to 4 weeks after infection. Although a person may feel ill, as early as 7 days or as late as 1 year later. What? Plasmodium vivax and Plasmodium ovale infections. Some parasites can remain dormant in the liver for several months, up to about 4 years after a person is bitten by an infected mosquito. When these parasites come out of 
hibernation and begin invading red blood cells, the person will become sick. How do I know if I have malaria for sure? The surest way for you and your healthcare provider to know whether you have malaria is to have a diagnostic test where a drop of your blood is examined under the microscope for the presence of malaria parasites. If you are sick and there is any suspicion of malaria, the test should be performed without delay. If I will be traveling outside the area with malaria, how do I find out what is the best drug to take to prevent malaria? CDC website has a list of all of the places in the world where malaria transmission occurs and the malaria drugs that are recommended for prevention in each place. Many effective anti-malarial drugs are available. Your healthcare provider and you will decide on the best drug for you, if any, based on your travel plans, medical history, age, drug allergies, pregnancy status, and other factors. Should infants and children be given any malarial drugs? Yes, but not all types of malaria drugs. Children of any age can get malaria, and any child traveling to an area where malaria transmission occurs should use the recommended prevention measures, which often include an anti-malarial drugs. What is the treatment for malaria? Malaria can be cured with prescription drugs. The type of drugs and length of treatment depend on the type of malaria, where the person was infected, their age, whether they are pregnant, and how sick they are at the start of treatment. For more videos please subscribe my channel. And if you like design this like video for you contact me. Also you can be my pattern and help me more creations.